Hey, what's happening, muchachos? Welcome to the video, guys. So today is Sunday fun day, and usually today I'm more chill, more relaxed. I usually use today to do a bit more errands. Kind of like doing my laundry, but don't worry, I'm not gonna take you guys to the laundry mat. That's gonna be boring as hell. If you saw my last video. You probably saw me complaining, be like, oh no, I'm gonna leave, I'm getting tired, I'm having all these issues. And in that video, I talked about some of the bad things that happen when you start getting leaner. And one thing I do to kind of help me mitigate some of those problems is once every single week, I have a day called a refeed when I increase my calories a little bit higher just to help me psychologically and physiologically as well handle the deficit a lot better. So I guess today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys how you can eat a little bit more food and lose fat a lot more efficiently. Oh my God, muchachos, that food was delicioso. So you guys know I'm a huge fan of Asian food. And since today I get to eat a little bit more calories, decided to go to one of my favorite Asian restaurants in Redondo and got myself a rice and ground beef basil bowl. Oh, so freaking good. I'm still tracking my macros. I'm actually trying to hit only 3000 calories today, but the issue with going to mom and pop places that even though the food is so amazing, unfortunately, they don't have the information on my fitness pal. So how I go around this is I'm gonna put up a screenshot. I do estimates of everything I'm eating. So you can see I have two cups of rice cooked, one fried egg, and I put in eight ounces of ground beef. Now, of course, this is not 100% accurate because I didn't cook it. I don't know if they put any extra oil or any extra sauces, but it is close enough man and today is supposed to be a day for me to kind of relax mentally and also physically so even though today is supposed to be a day of rest guys i usually like to on my higher days be a bit more active man because i have all this extra energy i feel more upbeat and i just can't sit on the couch so right now i'm actually on my way to go hang out with some of the muchachos Bought shorts that have a smaller waistline. There so, Tomei, another accomplishment. Oh, he's down a waist size? Well, I had 32s and these are 30s. So you're shrinking. Yep. Go deep. Good. Work with triceps. Way back though. Mm hmm. You feel it in the neck? In the back there. I would think I'd be feeling it in my neck. Down. Quarter way up. Down. And up. Good. So peeps, usually on a Sunday, I don't like training clients this day. This is my day of rest. But I've had this client for over 10 years and there's some people that I'm just gonna bend some rules for. But still, I don't like to do too many sessions on a Sunday because that's still my me time. That's my time to recharge, man. But today's session was pretty cool because I actually just started training uh, Kay and Harold. Harold's a husband. Started training him two months ago and he told me that he lost some inches in the waist, peeps. The man is getting smaller by the day, man. Well, in the right places, of course. So guys, that feels freaking amazing. I just love seeing people make progress. Like, it just makes my day so much brighter. But honestly, after working, I started getting pretty hungry while I was doing that session in the heat. So I guess you guys know what time it is. Five seventy nine. Place item in bag or cart, then scan next item. If you have your shopper's card. Alrighty, guys. So 
decided to make a quick stop to my local American grocery store. Lucky for me, this time I didn't get kicked out. <laughs> you guys that watched my last video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I got some snacks for the rest of this refeed. So usually I like to have my refeeds be like moderate to low fat and I want my carbs to be higher because carbs are super important on these days when your calories are higher. That's the thing that's actually gonna make your hormones feel better. So what I'm also having is some ice cream, but not any regular ice cream peeves. This is actually some low calorie ice cream because sadly, even though today is, I guess, my cheat day, right? Because it's a refeed, I still need to be controlled. I still need to hit my calories, my macros. And if I have regular ice cream, I just gonna blow it, man. So instead, I got this called Halo Top Birthday Cake. I'm sure a lot of you fitness fanatics have probably heard of this brand. And believe it or not, guys, this is the very first time I'm ever having the birthday cake flavor. So let me give you guys my first honest review. Hmm. Muchachos, check it out. I just ate this entire pint in one sitting. After having an entire pint of this Halo Top low calorie ice cream, all your boy got to say is. <sighs> It's not the same, man. It's not the same. I'm sorry. Regular ice cream, in my opinion, just tastes so much better. When I eat regular ice cream, I can just feel the love, man. I can just feel good that I eat it like, oh. But when I eat that, this, it's cold-blooded, guys. There's no love in that. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am a big kid at heart, man. And one thing I love so much is cereal, guys. So for this meal, I'm having some cereal, but I'm using two different kinds. So I have some golden graham cereal, which is my favorite, man. This next to Reese's peanut butter cups, amazing. But problem with that stuff though, is that it's very low in fiber. And having some fiber during these kind of days that you have higher calories can help you stay Full because when you start having high carbs, for me personally, I said to get hungrier. So I'm mixing it up with some golden cereal. This one is pretty good. It also has a good amount of protein and a high amount of fiber. So I kind of do half and half. So half of it is for pure pleasure, while the other half is just for, you know, feel myself saying full. So I have one serving of this, two servings of this, and I'm gonna put some almond milk in here and actually have some more work to do, believe it or not, guys. When we started last on Monday, yeah. my weight was one, 196, okay. and I weighed myself this morning, and I'm 180, 189. Yeah. Hey! So guys, I just got off a video call with one of my online clients. He's actually pretty new. This is his first week and he's doing amazing, man. I'm sure as you guys heard, he lost a lot of weight his first week. That is good, but that's also kind of concerning because I don't want him to lose weight too fast. I usually try and have clients lose about one to two pounds per week maximum. So if in future weeks he keeps losing more than two pounds, I'm going to have to change his macro so that he hits that sweet spot. But also, what tends to happen is usually in the first week, people tend to drop a lot of weight when they hit their macros correctly. And that's because you have so much water. You can just drop like four or five, six pounds the first week. And then usually the next few weeks, it kind of like tapers off and you lose like maybe one or two pounds or maybe even half a pound. So if you just started your diet and you saw a big drop the first week, it's totally normal. It's mostly water. So peeps. Also, what I'm eating right now, guys, is I'm eating some kettle corn rice crisps. These are amazing food for refeeds, man. This is because they are high in carbs and low in fat. And usually, guys, when you're doing your refeeds, you want your carbs to be a bit higher than moderate. So, like, moderate to high because it's the carbohydrates that's actually going to stimulate a hormone called leptin that's going to increase fat burning and going to make it easier for you to burn fat during the rest of the week when you go lower on your calories. So guys, after I'm done eating this, it's now gonna be time for me to eat some real food and that's gonna be the final meal of the day. So what is your boy gonna eat today?
<laughs> all right so i'm sure some of you guys are wondering what is this guy eating i'll tell you what it is guys heaven bros i have bread i also put some peanut butter on here all right then i have an egg then under the egg guys i have some pork fried pork with some sesame oil garlic curry and some cilantro to season this all up peeps man this sandwich right here is heaven on earth bros oh my god you guys see this you see the pork in there see the egg guys this sandwich right here is filled with so much flavor it is ridiculous oh man guys i am done eating for today man i'm gonna drink this and i'm gonna go to bed so i don't think i ever shown this on the channel but i have a major sweet tooth guys and something i use to kind of help me with this is i drink stuff like this sugar-free hawaiian punch only about five calories per serving in this and it really helps me with my sweet tooth without me blowing my calories so today i end up getting in about three thousand calories i'm going to show you on the screen so this is about 200 calories above my maintenance now i didn't go too high because i don't want to blow my deficit because at the end of the day guys it's all math guys like if you are in a net calorie deficit at the end of the week you're gonna lose weight so what this means is if you actually diet correctly for six days and then on the seventh day you totally blow it and you just go way too high it's gonna throw off those other six days and you're gonna make no progress so that's why it's important when you're getting leaner and leaner that you actually start to be more meticulous about how you track because dudes once you start getting lean, you're always hungry. Because look, I just ate 3,000 calories and I'm still freaking starving, guys. Like seriously, this right here is a freaking black hole, man. Nothing satisfies me. I could eat twice the amount and still be able to eat more, man. But it is what it is, man. So, guys, I'm about to sign up, man. So if you guys are watching this video and you're kind of confused about macros, you don't know how to set them up, definitely go watch a video that I'm going to link in the description box below that will show you how to set up your macros, protein, carbs, fats, calories to be able to lose fat. Or if you want a complete program about how to lose fat, check out the Tower Shred. It's actually an ebook that's going to show you how to design your own diet plan specific to you to be able to lose fat. So you want to check that out look in the description box below so guys man your boy is out of here i'm about to go to bed hungry so <laughs> if you guys like this video man you guys know what to do go ahead and give this one up thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to your channel yo go ahead and subscribe and dudes that's always remember this guys always strive to improve even if it's just a little each and every single day kaizen see you guys in the next video Peace.